you started in Auburn, correct? Yeah, is Auburn, that right? Yeah, Auburn, Auburn University, Montgomery. So, yeah. so like you started there, mm-hmm. and was doing your thing, yep. you know, and then you came back to Nashville. I believe you said you you came back to TSU. Is came that, is that TSU. right? Yep, that's correct. Yep. What well, 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 like first of all, tell me about that that transition. Why did you? What what happened during that time period when you went back to TSU? Yeah, man, I think um, at that at that space, my was my third year. I never forget. Uh-huh. Uh, it was one of the hardest decisions I made was to walk away from basketball because I got to a point because uh, I was going to school for electrical computer engineering. Mm-hmm. And at that point, you know, computer I was, engineering and playing basketball. Yeah, and playing electrical basketball. Yeah. computer engineering. Yeah, wow, which is, which is uh, like suicide almost. You know what I'm saying? It's crazy. <laughs> sound, sound crazy as hell. Yeah, what? Crazy. The name? Yes, bro. Right. What? Like, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Late nights, early mornings for sure. Uh-huh. But, um, you know, my, you know, my pro aspirations. I was realistic with myself. I got to a point. I just wanted to go to school for free. My parents didn't have to pay for it. Yeah. Okay. Just kind of just take that, take that load off their hands. Mm-hmm. So. Um, I kind of got to that point, man. I just kind of fell out of love with basketball. And I just knew, like, I thought my 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 focus and my my drive was going to be just towards engineering. That was it. Yeah. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? And so, okay. um, talk, man, that was one of the hardest things I had to do, man. I was, like, I was so afraid to go talk to my coaches, man, because I really felt like I was going to let them down. Yeah. And then let my teammates, my brothers down, too. You know what I mean? But yeah, I knew, I, I don't know what it was, but I something just told me, man, like, I'm, I got to go a different route. Like, this is just not going to be my way. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? And so I told myself, if I ever fall out of love with basketball, then I gotta walk away from it. I gotta make the I gotta make the tough decision for me. Yeah, you know what yeah. I mean? And so Makes I sense. did it. And um and then transitioned to TSU, where I just kind of just wanted to just dive straight into engineering, finish, get my degree. But um, man, you talk about the transition from being an athlete, that was probably one of the most unorthodox, uncomfortable transitions in my life. Cause I mm-hmm. because the structure of sports yeah. was not in my life anymore. I didn't have the camaraderie, the the the, the don't know the fellowship of, of sports, of having being a part of a team. You know what I'm saying? Just your life is kind of catered and, and and curtailed around a schedule. Like, man, mm-hmm. I just had you got so much, people helping somebody you. Somebody telling you where you need like, to go, big, what yeah, time. Facts. Yeah, now, yeah. man, it's like ready to you. I'm sure you have help getting registered for classes man, all, picking you had help doing everything yeah. man all that man i'm saying man and and I, now i love i love tsu i love my school but look you know we it's different that's different like financial aid admissions out man it's an old boy that's, but, hey, but it teach it, ta- it taught me something though it taught me right. a lot so i appreciate those lessons too much i love i love my school man i love yeah. tsu love my hbcu but um, yeah, man, it was different, man. And then just the downtime. I had so much time on my hand. Oh, you know yeah. what I mean? And so like, I mean, yeah, yeah like it's like, always be hard for an athlete. For sure. You don't know what to do, yeah, bro. Free time, time. You be free like, time. Shit. You, you'll end up just be like, damn, bro, what the fuck? What the, like, fuck him. Yeah. yeah. You just be sitting there. Yeah. You, yeah, just, be, you, know? you just be sitting there. Like, <laughs> <laughs> be sitting there. I got to find Literally. something to do. Okay. Okay. Right. All right. Yeah. So in that free time, man, you know, what were you feeling it with? Were you still... You still working out at that point, or yeah, I'm still like some, I mean, yeah. you know, still yeah. gonna work out a little bit. You know, you know, gonna stop. I'm talking about like, like, like playing, like you know. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm, I'm still hooping though. Now, okay, I'm going, yeah, I'm going to the YMCA. Hoopers don't you know stop. I mean? hooping. Yeah, so we gonna, I'm finding pickup. <laughs> okay, you know what okay. I'm saying. We had we had a little out a uh, little outdoor court. Yeah, um, at, at the school, I used to go down. You know, Friday night, Saturday night, Sunday. You know, Sunday nights. It was, you know, that was kind of like I looked at that as like that was my games. Those were my like right. You know what I'm saying. So yeah, I I still stayed around it, but. Uh, but what made you transit? All right, so mm-hmm. so so now this is going fast forward. Now you at TSU, you a full time student. Yeah, you graduated. Yeah. Now you out here in the real world. Mm-hmm. You know, what was that transition? You know, all right, you know what? I'm going back to basketball in a sense when it comes to like the actual training. So, fun fact. So I actually dropped out my senior year to pursue basketball training full time. Really? I was at a I was at a point. Damn. I okay, never, I, so I didn't know that. Yeah, okay. I'm, I'm going to tell y'all the story right here. So I'm in control systems, senior class. Okay. And I'm sitting in class, and my professor, you know, we going over we going over the lecture and whatnot. Yeah. And, man, the Holy Spirit just hit me. It's like, you're not supposed to be here. Mm-hmm. And I thought, see, I thought I was tripping. <laughs> like, when I heard when I heard that, I'm uh-huh. like, no, what, yo, yo, yo. It'll happen. I, my senior year, I'm finna get up out of here. I'm, you know, I'm already in my head thinking, okay, 
going to graduate. Yeah. Finna get the, we got this degree. We finna, in, you know, engineering, get you, you know, come out, get you about 75, 80,000, starting off, boom. Yeah. Life, we had a fast track. You had the plan. The plan. You already oh, yeah. had the plan. Had plan. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Your plan. Man. You had your plan. Yeah, man. Yeah. man, come on, man. Okay. Hey, hi. Ready. I'm, I'm already thinking about what car I'm going to get, where I'm going to live at. <laughs> oh, I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm locked in. Okay. But, man, Holy Spirit just hit me, man. It was like, nah, it's, you don't, you're not supposed to be here. And at first, you know, the first couple of instances, like I ignored it. And then as time went along, like it felt like it got louder and mm. louder and louder. Yeah. And then I got to a point where, because again, I was at a point kind of, I was kind of out of love with basketball. So my cousin, Spencer Richardson, shout out to him. Okay. AAG, all around game basketball. So when I came back, He's the one that got me into training initially. That's what I was right? going to ask you. So, yep. what was the, where was the introduction to like? All right, this is an option as well. Yeah, it was. It was okay. Yeah, it was through, okay. yeah, it was through my cousin Spence. Yeah. Okay. So he got me into it. And 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 a quick backstory with that: I was really defiant because I didn't want to have anything to do to basketball at that time. Because and I was like, Nah, I'm, I'm good. I'm straight, man. I just need a little break. But he stayed persistent, and I'm like, Okay. Let me just do this so that way I can get it out of the way. I ain't got to worry. Me ain't got to ask me no more cuz. And then I'm I'm doing what I need to do from there. Right, right. But okay. my first time going out there to help him train, it was like, oh, no, nah, this is different. And it's like, no, nah, this is, I had, like, the joy came back. You found and love. I found love and found joy. Love, you know what okay. I'm saying? And cool. I feel like, you know, Spence was, you like, God was using him mm -hmm. to get to me. And that's where the seed was planted. Mm -hmm. And then... Like, now, fast forward to being back in class, like, that's when I, I know that voice kept getting louder and louder and louder. So, man, I made a decision, man. I dropped out. And mm -hmm. I said, man, I'm going to pursue this full time. And when I tell you, man, it was like one of the, like, one of the, like, you talk about, like, again, uncomfortable. And because I, my mom and dad loved them to death, you know, they instill, you know, they, I am who I am because of them. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I know they really pushed me because they wanted me to have a better life and make sure that my my foundation and everything was set through education. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? And so, I understand that. Um, so it was, so when I made that decision, man, it was a lot of pushback. It was and tough. I, it was tough. I and, can see that being tough. You know yeah. what I'm saying? It was tough. Yeah. And so I had to, but in my heart of hearts, man, I was like, man, the Lord is calling me to go a different way. Like, and I know my parents, I know my friends, I know everybody wants the best for me, but I just got to follow him. And some just told me, man, just, Whatever you do, man, just don't tough. fold, man. Like, just right. don't fold. Like, it's 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 all going to make sense in due time. Mm -hmm. And then, man, long story short, and we're going to talk about it. I'm pretty sure we'll talk about it more in depth. But long story short, man, my, my parents probably, it's probably like two years ago. Okay. Like, now they're seeing the fruits of the labor. Right. They're mm -hmm. seeing all the success. They're yeah. seeing the things that, and more importantly, not even just the finances, but just how I'm impacting people. people. Yeah. And mm -hmm. finding my purpose through, right. through the Lord. And so, my parents, two years ago, they told me, say, son, like, we're so proud of you, and now we see why you stood on the grounds of what God told you to do. Mm -hmm. And we're so glad that you you did that because right. now we're seeing, like, we're seeing his light work through you and how it's spreading to so many people. Yep. You yeah. know what I'm saying? So, like, yeah, that's yeah, that's that's kind of a little backstory, backdrop on that. Man. That's dope. Right. Nah, bro. That's fire. That's fire. Like, I I have not heard this story, hearing it from you, just a story like that, like, knowing that, you know, A, I feel like the spirit was telling you, hey, look, this is what I'm, I'm trying to do. Yeah. But you had to be obedient and do it. Had to. And I, I know that that year to your point was probably like, who ah, boy. boy. Man, talk. Man, nah, I can imagine nah. that. I can imagine that. I, yeah, feel, yeah, I, yeah. I feel like a lot of, I ain't gonna say a lot of us, I feel like there was one thing that uh, when I was in high school, really before then, like my parents was, they was all with the education. Like yeah. that's what mm -hmm. they was on. Yes, sir. And like, so sports, it wasn't even like a secondary. It was more like, yo, you can do it when you got time, but you got to do this right here. Yes, sir. Like, even yep. like when it came to the support. So it was, I, I, like, I feel like that was that was when I made, I ain't gonna say I made a decision, but um, early on, even playing college or whatever, really wasn't, It was, I, I knew I was going for education. Yeah. Right. yeah I, yeah, I didn't yeah, even yeah. think about like trying to try to get a scholarship because it was like, it was just put in my brain. Right. It was yeah, just put in my right. brain. And luckily for me, um, I had a, a track coach at the time that ran with me at Houston while I was in in in, in, uh, in high school, and he went to Memphis. Yeah. Mm. That's the only reason why oh, I so went he, because mm, he was so like, "Yo, you, you can do this." That's yeah. tough. Yeah. He yeah, that's saw tough. like he said, like, "Yo, you can do this." Yeah. 
Come on up here. And that's yep. the only reason why I even, you know, I'm with the Memphis in the first place. So, like, I do understand that right there, bro. But uh, my bad. No, nah, you good, um, bro. Nah, man. man.